So now we installed FCOM, but there are some useful tools we can use to make FCON run more stable and smoother. In my utilities folder, I have some of these tools. I'll provide links for where you can download these tools in the description of this video. First is OBSC, which is Oblivion Script Extender. If you get to this directory, if you take OBSC Loader, OBSC Editor, and OBSE.dll, copy these and paste them in your root Oblivion directory. There we go. Now, when you run OBSC Loader, it'll run Oblivion, but with the Oblivion Script Extender running. I would suggest at this point to delete your Oblivion icon on your desktop and replace it with OBSC Loader. There, now when you run this, it'll run Oblivion but with OBSC running. So with OBSC now installed, what can we use that takes advantage of the script extender? Well, here's one tool, OSR. It's the Oblivion Stutter Remover. Copy the data folder, move to Oblivion and paste it in the root directory. And you'll want to merge the data folder. When you do this, you'll have a new folder here and here in the plugins of the OBSC you can see we have the Oblivion Stutter Remover installed. Another nice tool is Fast Exit. Copy the data folder and do the same thing. And now we have Fast Exit. Fast exit makes it so that when you exit Oblivion, it will not come up with a system is not responding anymore. That can happen in a heavily modded game, especially like O, like FCOM can be. Fast exit just makes it so you can get out of the game more easily. Other than that, there's also a 4 gigabyte patch. If your system has um, 4 gigabytes or more, this can help with performance. Just run it. Select the oblivion.exe and it will patch your executable. There's also a mod that can help improve performance. I have that in my other mods folder. It's called Streamline. Copy that and move it to your Rybash mods folder. And now in Rybash, make sure it's at the bottom and you can install it. Run boss. And it's right there. Now to be safe, you should probably rebuild your patch again. I always like to say, when in doubt, rebuild the bashed patch. You can check to see if Streamline is anywhere. I don't think it is, but you can never be too sure. Looks like it's not there, so we'll just build the patch. There we go. One other thing we can do to make the game run smoother is to clean the mods that are dirty. And to do that, we're going to have to use a utility called Test for Edit. What I like to do is um, extract it here. and then move the file wherever you want. I like moving it into my default Oblivion folder. There we go. And now, to find out which mods are dirty, 
you can run boss and for certain mobs, mods it will show you which ones are dirty for example DLC Orrery is dirty it contains dirty edits 11 ITM and 2 UDR uh, so to fix this and to clean up this dirty mod what we have to do is run test for edit we're gonna select none but we're going to select DLC orrery because it's the one we want to clean You'll know it's done when it says the background loader is finished. So select DLC Orrery, right click, and click on Apply Filter. Okay, initially some of these might have been checked. What you have to do is right click and say select none. Make sure nothing is checked here except for this little statement down here, conflict status inherited by parent. Make sure that's the only one checked and click on Filter. Once that's finished, right click on Orrery and you're going to click on Remove Identical to Master Records. You'll get this warning thing. Just click Yes, I'm absolutely sure. And you can see the removed records are 11. And if you look over here, there were 11 dirty records that it cleaned up so it makes sense. Also as an added thing you can do to clean up this mod you can right click and click on undelete and disable references. You'll see the undeleted records is 2 and if you look over here the orrery did indeed have two undeleted records. So now your orrery mod is pretty much clean so just close it and it should come up with a little window that says they changed the DLC orrery. Just say OK to that. And that's how you clean a mod. Just go through that with all of these things that say they contain dirty edits. Like most of the DLCs it seems to be are dirty. And this is one reason why Boss is such a nice little tool. This is going to conclude my FCOM installation tutorial. If you followed this tutorial, then you have successfully installed FCOM, as well as several additional mods that complement FCOM quite well. Hopefully by following my instructions, you have realized that installing FCOM really isn't as daunting of a task as you may have initially thought. I hope I was able to help you, and I hope you enjoy Oblivion and FCOM as much as possible.